Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing a review about two of my favorite transformers that I was finally able to get. They and they are Nightbeat and Siren. Both transformers are headmasters or if you would like headmaster juniors and that's because uh, there was a cartoon called Super God Master Force which I think was a Japanese exclusive cartoon or maybe it wasn't exclusive I don't really know I've watched it uh, in Japanese and in that cartoon um, these characters were a little bit different than they were portrayed in the American comic books. In the comic books they are called Nightbeat and Siren and uh, they also have a third partner which I don't have and he's called Hosehead. He's the one who turns into a fire truck. But uh, in the Super God Master Force cartoon they were called Minerva or Minerva if you prefer the Japanese pronunciation and Go Shooter or Shuta. And the third member, the fire truck, was I think called Cab. What's interesting about that is that they had different color schemes and also there were uh, there were toys produced in that color scheme matching the one in the cartoon. Um, I'm not sure if they were Japanese exclusives but you can see some of them on eBay. Um, they, they demand quite a high price and another thing that was interesting about that cartoon is that Minerva or Nightbeat in that version was actually a girl. Well, if you can talk about girls in 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 the sense of Transformers, uh, but in that cartoon, the little headmaster was the headmasters were actually actually people and uh, little kids. That's why they were called juniors. So one of the kids was a girl and she was the one who turned I'm sorry about that who turned into the head of Minerva and he uh, and she quite the in robot mode she also kind of behaved feminine at least she moved femininely um which is interesting to note because if you think about female transformers usually everyone thinks about RC and uh, so there's just a side note that there was one other uh, female transformer before RC as I mentioned these figures especially Nightbeat are kind of fan favorites Nightbeat in the American comic book was portrayed as kind of this this detective type of guy who who is always solving mysteries and always running after after mysterious stuff. Um, I remember they had a pretty cool scene in one of the comic books. They were looking for, I guess, the Autobot Matrix Matrix or something like that, and they were in kind of like a pub together, all three of them, and it really really re resembled the the pub uh, in Mos Eisley in Star Wars with all those different kind of aliens uh, together it was a very fun episode and I remember it it very distinctively um, 
so I don't know if if that's the reason of Nightbeat being such a such a big fan favorite, or maybe the the UK Transformers comic book, which I know that they have some episodes about him. Uh, I have never read those, so I don't really know. But nevertheless, he's a very cool looking toy and and he's is very appealing i really like the color scheme so i can i can just understand him being a, a such a big fan favorite but i don't know if it's because of them being a big fan favorite or or them just being very rare but they these robots demand quite a high price if you want to get them complete especially these little these little guns you see on the heads uh, they go for insanely high prices uh, and I, I recommend you to try to pick one up uh, complete if you can uh, you will you will play, pay a, quite a high price for them but but still it's much more easier than trying to find those little guns for them uh, later and uh, on that note, I really have to thank Adam from the UK who was kind enough to sell these wonderful figures to me on a, on a very, very friendly price. Thank you, Adam. I'm very happy to have these figures. I just want to let you know that uh, they, will be, they will be very treasured parts of my collection. Let's start with Nightbeat because he's the big fan favorite. Nightbeat as you can see sports this blue and yellow color scheme in robot mode which is very very nice I really like it it's kind of like you know the old color scheme of the X-Men and maybe that's the reason I, I, I really like it but I do um, I have to note that this gun is not the original gun that's supposed to be with Nightbeat, I just put it in his head. This is the same gun that comes with Siren. Uh, I have two of those and I don't have Nightbeat's gun so I, I just figured I would use that. Okay. Nightbeat comes with uh, some very cool stickers and these are the original stickers that he came with in the 80s. I think the year was 87. Yep, 1987. So these are the, ori the original stickers and um, as you can see at some points they are not uh, perfectly angled or a little bit worn but I'm not going to change that because if I if I'm looking at it, even though I I never had this figure as a child, um, but when I'm looking at it right now with these stickers, it kind of tells me a story. It it just tells me a story that he was he was loved by someone, he was owned by someone, he was played with by someone, and that someone took really good care of him, and and uh, that someone. Uh, was trying his best to apply the stickers so even though it's not perfect it's not perfectly applied but I'm still going to leave them on the way they are because that's just how it is complete to me and out of respect of the former owner I'm not going to change that okay transformation is fairly simple one should say insultingly simple but that's not necessarily a bad thing you basically just fold his arms like that fold up the legs and the the articulation is quite tight which I'm very happy for and just fold down this hood part and they are done. In alt mode, he's he kind of resembles a futuristic Porsche, uh, and Porsche is my favorite type of cars. And I'm not, even though I'm a big big uh, Transformers collector, I'm not a big fan of, of cars or toy cars or 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 real cars for that matter. But Porsche is is a type that I really like. Um, you can put his little gun on the hood and you can also take these little guns 
and put them well, right here on the hood. So one one gun at the roof and two guns on the hood, and that makes it complete. Uh, I'm not that happy with this mode. I mean, I I consider the alt mode complete without the guns. Um, but it's a good way to store them if you don't want to lose them in alternate mode and um, it kind of looks a bit weird with them but well okay I can go with it it's a futuristic car anyway so no worries if you if you try to put this next to generation 1 Jazz for example he's also turning into a Porsche if you put the two of them together you might think that this car mode looks a little bit like like it's a child's toy and Jazz, the G generation 1 Jazz looks more like something oriented for older kids um, it kind of makes me think like looking at Duplo next to Lego sets uh, which is a bit weird because these this, these transformers came out later than the generation one jazz did uh, so that's just a side note for the, both of them being Porsche Porsche cars they look very differently um, the cockpit opens and you can put your little headmaster figure muzzle inside and they are called Headmaster Juniors because they are smaller than the regular size Headmasters. Here you have Arcana next to Muzzle and well Muzzle is really like a child, child sized next to Arcana if you consider Arcana a normal adult size robot or Nebulon or whatever you prefer so muzzle up front sports blue face with yellow body and his only articulation is the legs can be put into a sitting position or like this for the head transformation the head is complete the face is completely visible on his back there's no face cover like you have with this type of bigger headmasters figure where you just flip it up and you get the face and then you can cover it in robot mode um, I really like the face of, of uh, Nightbeat and he comes with his seat that doubles as his helmet in face mode his face kind of reminds me of the face of Hot Rod I think you can kind of see the, resemble, the, the resemblance and what's also interesting about his face is that in the American comic book they somehow swept, swapped his face with, with Siren's face so Nightbeat is always portrayed with, the, with these sunglasses type of eyes in the comic book but yet he sports this yellow orangey face with the blue helmet so basically he looks in the comic book just like Siren with, with different colors I don't know why they did that really I don't think anyone does maybe they just mixed up the two figures and uh, then just went with it afterwards okay so if you transform muzzle into robot mode and if you take his little seat you can put him here in this sitting position and then he can of course drive his car if you close down the the cockpit area unfortunately it's not see-through but you get this very nice um, metallic looking uh, windshields uh, which which I really like uh, I have one little paint 
damage here on the windshield which comes probably from if you open the hood the hood will touch the windshield so most of the figures that you see online have quite damaged windshields so that's one thing you should be careful uh, about and and look it up up close or, or properly if you can before buying this figure and let's see siren now I very much like Siren's color scheme in robot mode. He he kind of looks like a police officer to me. Maybe it's the shades or maybe it's the color scheme, this this blue with the black and the and the gray, the light gray, but I think it's very very cool and uh, I really love him. Uh, for that and what I also quite like is that his color scheme in robot mode is completely different than his color scheme in in car mode which I will show you uh, as you transform him to car mode all the blue will disappear because it's all on the bottom of the car and you get uh, you get gray with, with, with red and basically it's it's a it's like a whole different figure, and I, I really like this this feature. Uh, articulation wise, he's the same as as Nightbeat. So you have, and I forgot to mention that, but you have uh, 360 rotation on the uh, shoulder at the shoulders. You have this kind of out or up and down movement that that is basically part of the transformation and he also has uh, elbow elbow joints which which um, Nightbeat didn't have and uh, another thing I didn't show you is of course the chest cavity this chest displays can be opened on both figure and of course the speed strength and intelligence can be read as you as you just put the head in. Um, this also this fun function also works a bit differently on the on the other headmaster figures, but what I figured is that you can use the other headmaster figures with the juniors. So you can put the big ones on without problem. They will display the same uh, statistics as the as the junior heads do. So one junior body will always display the same statistic statistics regardless of the head you put in. But you can put in the big heads too. And of course the junior heads are also interchangeable. Um, because the big headmaster figures display different statistics with different heads so the small ones they, they always display the same so siren is about 5 for speed, 5 for strength and about 7 for intelligence um, I changed the stickers on siren mainly because they were a bit more damaged and mainly because well this part here is a big sticker this part here is a big sticker and I think they were they were factory applied so they came with the figure uh, as you bought it but these figures th these stickers kind of become became quite old on him and started to to deteriorate and and well it just looked a little bit damaged and I already had a, a spare sticker sheet so I applied it and um, you basically get stickers for the knees for this part and and the car mode that I will show off this part is painted on um, so no stickers for that I think he looks very very cool in robot mode. I really like his mode, his look. And um, uh, let's turn him into a car. His transformation is also quite simple. You just take off the head and take the arms, push them up like this until they connect on top. He also has the 
this this part of the of the car that that can be opened and so you can just close it and then you open this and fold the hood and then you can close it now in car mode he looks like this emergency fire uh, chief car which is kind of like a sports car someone said he he's a Mazda, Mazda RX I don't know about that because getaway here is supposed to be a Mazda RX2 and he looks a bit different in car mode so here you can see both of them together in car mode and I don't know about you but honestly Siren doesn't really look like a Mazda to me at all he, he, looks, he looks fairly different although the color scheme is similar and Getaway is also sporting a, a red um, sporting red windows well purplish reddish windows and he also has a sticker up here that says racing whereas this one says emergency so the ca the cars are kind of similar mm, just not not enough for me I guess I don't know and uh, Siren also gets compared a lot of times to Red Alert but Leather Earth is a white Lamborghini Countach, I think. So, other than the color scheme, which is white and red on Red Alert, and it's light, light gray and red here, it's, uh, I don't think they are that much similar other than that. So he has, of course, blue sirens, red windows, and as you can see, the whole color scheme is red and gray and all the blue is tucked up underneath which I kind of like um, I mean the fact that it's so different than the robot mode um, you can put his little guns also on the hood just like you did with Nightbeat here and you can put his big gun on the roof like that and now he's fully armored, fully armed and ready for battle. Both little cars roll very, very well. And of course, Siren also has a little partner called Quig. That's his headmaster or Shuta in the Japanese cartoon. And Quig also wears his face, his robot face, on, on his back. And to transform him into face mode, you just raise his legs like that, and he's ready to go. And he also has a seat that doubles as a, as a helmet. So if you turn him into this little robot mode, you can put him in the seat. And, and you can open up the cockpit and just slide it in there so he can drive his own car. I really like this function. Even though, even though I would like the windshields to be transparent so that you can actually see the figure inside, like with the big um, headmasters, like for example with chrome dome here well the light lighting is not the best in my room right now but you can see the figure that's sitting inside through the transparent windows and that's basically true for every big uh, headmaster figure that turns into a vehicle you can see the driver inside I think that gives you kind of a plus uh, when you're playing with them but but these are not bad either and if you store the headmasters inside you can at least make sure not to not to lose them that easily one last side note I forgot to mention is that 
the instructions display these figures like this with the head guns looking up front I just don't like it uh, in the comic book and in the TV show they were always displayed like this like antenna like on the head of Optimus Prime or other transformers that have this kind of head uh, so I, I really like to display them like this with the guns facing upward um, okay so my final verdict about these figures um, well all the pros that I can list is first of all they are very valuable so if you are looking for I don't know for an investment and you like toys then you should definitely get these because they are insanely expensive um, I really like the colors and the color scheme as I mentioned uh, especially if you if you're looking at the the drawings that you can find for example from the IDW comic books both of them look very very cool and I really like that design and even though they are lacking articulation I think if you if you're playing with your toys and if you have a little fantasy you can you can you can really have a great time with this with these figures because they are they are awesomely made even though they are lacking articulation um, you have lots of play options uh, especially because of the little robots that you can use as as uh, drivers I really like that the whole idea and as a kid it would have really appealed to me and uh, my one negative comment that I can say about these figures is you probably noticed that they are unilag figures so that's the only thing they can do they can they can uh, they can kneel down um, as a kid I really hated unilag figures I hated them with a passion even if a figure is doesn't have articulated legs I really like liked it if, if the legs are at least separated and not molded together I don't really know why I hated them so much mm, and I didn't even have that many transformers who featured this kind of this kind of unileg uh, setting but I just really really didn't like it and um, as an adult collector when I when I started to think about getting some of the generation 1 figures when I first looked at these figures I said well no no I'm not interested but later as I remembered their character and and as I watched the cartoon and and learned more about these figures I started to like them more and more and now at this point it doesn't even bother bother me at all that they are unilegs um, they are fairly simple transformers um, you you might want to think that they belong uh, to a small child's collection but I think the price tag on them will prevent uh, like geeky parents to buy them for kids because they are quite expensive however I do have another uh, another piece of, of um, siren that I am saving for my nephew uh, his, that, that figure is also almost complete only the head guns are missing I don't think my nephew will really miss those so I'm looking forward to give it to him uh, because I think he would really like it as he gets a little bit older and I'm sure he will have he will have lots of nice play play times with him because they are very cool figures and they are I really recommend you to pick them up if you like if you like this review and uh, well that's about it so thank you for watching and stay tuned because I'm going to do some more reviews pretty soon and take care now and bye bye